Hey baddies, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be doing our end of the month overview for our um, sinking fund. So what this does is help us figure out how much we were able to save during the month with our funds. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, stay tuned. <laughs> So here is my neutral budget planner. If you have purchased it, you've pretty much given it a brief overview. What I will say though, um, if you don't know a bunch about GoodNotes, I know I've gotten um, received a ton of emails about how to use the buttons to maneuver uh, through the planner. And um, they're called hyperlinks. So the hyperlinks only work if the um, pin is turned off. Sorry, y'all, I'm going blank. So you just hit this button up here in the corner and you turn the pin off or on. And if you can't write, then you can click. So we just want to go to our monthly tracker here. And this is how we are going to track our sinking funds. Another cool tip. So I'm going to go back, hit February here, go back to our latest budget planner. I'm going to turn my pin on, hit my lasso tool, and I'm just going to give these a quick highlight. I'm going to hit copy, turn my pin back off, February, monthly tracker, and I'm going to hit paste here. And see, I grabbed a little bit of the five, so we'll have to delete that, but that's okay. And we'll go ahead and grab our eraser, delete that five, and so we don't have to rewrite our amounts. What we'll also do is go over to my other planner, and I'm going to pull the numbers from last time so i can see my ending amounts from january and i'm going to do the same thing copy those go to my other planner and paste those in my beginning amounts and if it's too big like this all you have to do is shrink it down okay let's see here and if you can't get it to line up you just play with it right so i'm just going to grab these and I'm gonna move them down. And if you even you just wanna like bring it over here and then rewrite it, cause these are pretty sloppy, so I may do that here in a second. That's okay too. Okay, so now I've got everything moved over from last month. So we see the amounts here that we ended with for last month. So let's go ahead and go through and see what kind of progress we've made. I'm also going to be exchanging bills during this video. Um, it's just easier to do it all at once. Okay, so our savings, we started last month. with $1,601, Let me just start. Uh, breaking this down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten dollars. <sighs> Let's see. So there's two fifties for a hundred. So twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one. 20, 40, 60, 82. And I guess I'll just have to keep this in here until I get some more change because I don't have any tens to break it down with. So in here we have 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 
3100, 32, 33, 34, 100, 3405, 789, 3410, 1112, 1314, 1516, 17. So 3,417. Y'all, please forgive the handwriting. <clears throat> All right, debt. We started with 393. One, two, three, four, fifty. Ah, I forget it's a cash exchange, y'all. One, two, three. So we can't do that. Ten, twenty. So we'll do these fives for twenty. And we'll do twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. And I think that's all we can do. Let me take a look here. Yep. So, one, two, three, four, five, five, fifty, five, sixty, five, sixty, five, sixty, six, sixty, seven, sixty, eight. Five hundred and sixty eight dollars in debt. What did I say? Five sixty eight goldfish brain. All right. Manifest. Started with 350, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I'm going to move this ring. It's annoying me. Okay. In our emergency fund, we are going to break it down. One, two, three, four, five, ten. We still don't have any tens. Huh? Oh, 20. So let's do that. Grab us a 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. All right. So our emergency fund has 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 20, 22, 23. So we have 4, 23 in here. Ooh, child, the ghetto. Alrighty, fitness started with 120 and it now has oh look there we got our tens. Sit the one K slips right here. And it now has 170. Okay. And I'm just gonna run back up here to savings real quick and Take some of these ones out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to add a ten here. Because it's annoying counting all those ones during the week. All right, where are we? Healthcare. We started with 258 in healthcare. We now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 950, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 2 fives, 4 10, and we'll keep the 3 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. Um, I typically would put a 1K slip in here, but I'm going to leave it um, because I like to pay like physical cash for my doctor's appointments. So, yeah, 1,050, 60, 1, 2, 3. They give you a discount. Um, so that'll stay in there. Okay, roll over. If there are 10s, I'm going to take them out of here because I need them. 10, 20. 
but I typically need the smaller bills when I'm paying my uh, credit card bill because I'm mimicking the funds or whatever. All right, our 52 week challenge, we do actually track this. So we had $600 um, at the end of January. See what we can break down out of here. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 100. Uh oh. Okay, 20, 40, nope. So 100, 200, 300, and 50s. So there's one, two, three. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000. So we're gonna pull this out and put a 1k slip 120.45 so 1145 dollars in here you know what i don't want to put a 1k slip i want that money to stay in here I like it better. So $1,145, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 20, 45. 11, Okay, so that's all for that binder. So we're going to do 11.45 for my 52-week <clears throat> challenge. Let's move on to our other sinking funds. Our personal fund started with 150. I mean our miscellaneous fund. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 45, 50. Sixty. So we have hundred and sixty dollars in our miscellaneous funds. No. Oh. All right, travel will be receiving one hundred and seventy dollars. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it started with one seventy. It now has ten, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred. So, put those fives. Grab a hundred. Those hundreds. Trade in these two fifties for a hundred. And we'll keep our five. So we have one, two, three, four, five, oh, five. In trouble. Not quite to a thousand yet. But progress is progress. God, why am I writing like a idiot? It's hard to write this way. I have to like write flat. My fun started with 100, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200. So we now have 200 bucks in here. Holidays had 201. Let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 100. And so we're all good there. Holidays 100, 2, 3, 350, 370, 390, 391. How's y'all's holiday fund coming along? Is anybody as shocked as me that you're able to save so much? Like, I my YouTube anniversary just passed. I was sick, so I didn't get to celebrate. But even last year, I really only started 
saving for holidays towards like the beginning of March. So I didn't even get the full impact of a whole year. But good Lord, I'll be saved for the holidays by like September. Car maintenance started with 110. We now have 10, 20, 40, 60, 80. So we can't do that. What we can do is 20, 40, 50. Like, once you change your mentality and your relationship with money, you expect to save. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard to explain. I'm just like, I know I'm going to have my money for Christmas, you know? One, two, three, four, four, fifty, four, seventy, four, eighty in car maintenance. We live in expectancy. Once I proved to myself that I could do it the first year, now I'm just like, okay, let's do more. Let's do better. Let's have more. Because ain't nothing wrong with having more. Don't let people talk you into believing that that makes you um, greedy or, you know, you don't want what's best for the world. Honey, live in abundance. Boobies. Started with 350. One, two, three, four, 55, 56. So we're in it with 600. We're going to trade in these 450s for 200s. Okay. Yeah. I've, I've had to learn that. Like, survivor's remorse from all, all kind of stuff. You can live in abundance. You don't have to be guilty for working hard and having much. Month ahead started with 1250. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1150, 1170, 1190, 1210, 1220, 1230. So this one is shorter because um, I went ahead, hold on, let me write it. I went ahead and paid uh, the Wi Fi bill out of here instead of moving over. The Wi-Fi fund because I'm trying to save up for new internet. That's kind of how my brain works. So this will catch up this next month. It won't. It shouldn't be down anymore. But I had to pay like two something for the internet out of here instead of with my internet bill fund because I'm saving up the internet bill fund to upgrade our internet. If that makes sense. So giving had 115. Ooh, giving has a lot of small bills. So let's do 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 100. Worked out perfect. Perfection. So we have $200 in giving. Which I have got to boost up because my little chicken's birthday is in March. Family time started with 165. Let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, I can do that. So let's trade this in for 220s. And we'll trade the 250s in for 100. So we have 240. Okay. 240 my birthday we didn't track um last month i don't know if i want to i don't know if there was a reason i did or didn't but i should be because it is a sinking fund one two three fifty four twenty five so four twenty five because i think i'm gonna keep this one like i don't know that i'll ever be letting another birthday go by without celebrating another year okay for our 1K, we had 17.20 last month. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 50, 42, 50, 70, 91. So forty two ninety one in our four oh one K 
And if they don't open it soon, I guess I'm going to have to try to figure something else out at another firm. I do have some stuff at Vanguard, so we'll see. I don't know. It's been like a month at this point. I'm not sure how long that kind of thing takes, but we'll see. So for our monthly challenge, last month we had 230, which was the total for January. And this month we have 261. So we'll just do 230 plus 261. It's 491. So we have $491 so far. Did I get everything? Yes, I did. So now I'm going to go through real quick and figure out the differences from this number to this number. And it may seem different when you come back because I may fix it because I hate looking at ugly handwriting. I may time lapse it. Who knows? But here we go. Okay, I'm back. So I added up the differences for all of the columns, but what I did forget to do is add up the ending amount total. So I'm gonna do that really quick. see here we have our beginning amounts for our funds our ending amounts and the difference so you can kind of see how spending went how spending didn't go uh it gives me it just gives you a really an overall view of kind of how your funds are doing i'm actually getting ready to add more cash envelopes to my wallet because i feel like i need more uh to give myself a true budgeting experience uh, um my journey is a little weird because most things I do swipe my business card for, but um, like snacks and like hair products and stuff like that, I could have an envelope for those. But as far as my sinking funds go, they kind of just grow because like healthcare will get used next month, probably fitness. This one will when it's time to pay my credit card. But like holidays will be here a long time, car maintenance, boobies, month ahead giving i only have birthdays a few times a year i don't really go to like baby showers and weddings and stuff so yeah the, it, my sinking funds just always grow you know i've had to dip into savings to like help a friend a few times so that was nice to have but it looks like for this month we were able to save sixteen thousand five hundred and ninety nine dollars so we're going to subtract that from last month and we were able to save $8,487, which is a little better than last month. And so we are really proud of that. Um, I'm very intentional about every dollar I make and receive, uh, really saving. Like I told you guys, I'm looking forward to the next like five to 10 years of my life being like grinding and putting away every dollar I can trying to get a home, get that settled, get me a more long-term vehicle, get me some money set aside for a child and stuff like that. So I know sometimes I get messages and people are like, oh my God, you're able to save all that. Like I literally, y'all, I leave my house like twice a week. I work all day long. I don't go out and spend money. I don't, I just don't because I want my forties to be full of relaxation. So I'm sacrificing some social events and traveling and things that I could afford to do. I could pick up and go to Dubai, you know, for Instagram, but that's not where I'm, you know, I have goals for my life. So instead I stay home, I take a staycation when I need to unwind. That's, you know, two or $300 for a weekend. And it's much cheaper than four or $5,000 for a trip. And I'm able to put that money into savings and paying off debt and things like that. So sometimes, you know, you have to sacrifice a little and grind a little bit so you can be where you want to be later. So $16,000 in funds is not bad. I'm not mad at that at all. I'm really, really grateful for that. I'm so proud of myself. So for the end of the month, let's see what else I need to do. 
for our weekly check-in. So I can't really do this until my next paycheck stuffing. I think that's it. My monthly budget, I can work through that, but I didn't fill it in in this planner. It's in my old planner. So I think we'll save that for March. So I think that's all, you guys. If you have any questions or concerns, as always, please leave them below. I try to go through and answer as many comments as I can, especially within the first few hours that the video is posted. Um, I really try to get back with you guys because I appreciate y'all having your notifications turned on. So I want to make sure you feel that appreciation. Um, like I said, this money will be going back to the bank. This money came from the bank, especially the bigger bills that were used to do the exchange. So they'll be going back as I take the student loan money up there and um, deposit that as well. Okay. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all have a really great week. I hope you were able to close out your sinking funds and your monthly budget as well. Until next time, y'all. Bye. Don't take it personal, but I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause